Hey guys, welcome to Becoming Well Read Part 9. Yes, the background is a little bit different. I'm in my new apartment. Very exciting to be recording here. And I actually read a lot since my last video. I actually know what the next few videos are going to be about. But as promised, this is about Rage by Richard Bachman, who's also Stephen King. This is his pseudonym, and I just want to talk about the introduction to this book. Stephen King actually wrote a lot in the beginning of this collection here about why he wrote as Richard Bachman. And one of the reasons he wrote under that false name, that pseudonym, was that he wanted to see if his earlier works would get the same fame and recognition as his future works. He was already an accomplished author when he started publishing books under the name Richard Bachman. And so he wanted to see if those books that he wrote way before that were way different from the spooky stuff he normally writes would get the same recognition. Eventually he was found out Paper Leaves a Trail and one of the books had uh, his name on the copyright. And so it was found out that it was him. Uh, so I've read the first book uh, called Rage. What was Rage about? Rage was a lot about teenage angst and anger and also people or one kid, Charles Decker, with a lot of problems. We start off and he's in class and he's being disruptive and they send him to the principal's office and while he's waiting at the principal's office, he's having all these thoughts about his father and about this camping trip that they had. He just, he couldn't kill the deer. He felt so upset with himself that he wasn't able to do it. Um, after he leaves the principal's office, he knows already that he's going to be transferred uh, to a different school. You see, the thing is that he's had problems in school before. Charles Decker hit a teacher I believe it was in the face with a wrench or some kind of metal uh, tool and that teacher was sent to the hospital and thankfully that teacher didn't die. Just in general a troubled kid and so as he leaves the principal's office he goes back to his locker and he starts a fire and then he just walks back into the classroom that he had left that he was kicked out of. He pulls the gun and he kills his teacher Mrs. Underwood. This is all very early in the book. I'm not going to uh, ruin the ending for you guys. But everybody is leaving the school because of the fire that's going on in the locker. And what we have is a hostage situation in this classroom. He has his gun out. And basically everybody's just told, you know, sit down. Don't go anywhere. They're looking outside. They see that the fire department's out there. The police people are out there. And they're all trying to figure out how to save all these kids from Charlie Decker. Inside the classroom, Charlie starts up a conversation with all these students, which for the first time in their lives seems more real than anything else that's happened. Different students start telling stories and just having a conversation to the point where for most of the stories, it doesn't really feel like a hostage situation anymore. It's everything that you can imagine that happens. They talk about sex. Uh, two girls have a cat fight and it's sort of like these strange rules uh, governing what happens with that fight. Um, there's negotiations between Charlie and the police department. It's a very interesting story. And if you like stories like that, teenage angst, anger, letting it all out, just, you know, going against the man, or maybe just looking into, like, a psychopath's mind. Rage by Richard Bachman slash Stephen King. It's probably the book you want to read. It's actually a really, really fun read. It was published in 1977, so it's one of his earlier works, or at least that's what the copyright says in this compilation. So, would I recommend Rage? To be honest, this book isn't for everybody. A lot of people won't understand it, or a lot of people who don't like psychotic people. That's, if that's not for you, don't, don't read this book. Or if you feel like uh, this book would affect you in the wrong way because there have been a lot of school shootings recently and that's sort of a sensitive subject people might get triggered then don't read this book if you're into a story that's like psychological but also kind of thrilling maybe you might be interested in it again it's not for everybody it was pretty much a quick read i read a uh, rage in about a week and i think that one of the reasons why is because a lot of these bachman books were written uh before king published anything it was written you know, in high school or in college, and a lot of them are like his early works when he was just piecing things together. And so maybe that's why this book has sort of that teenager feel to it, I would say. And also, it's not as polished as his other works. And if you like 
uh, books that are short and sweet and get to the point that it's for you. And if you like Stephen King's later style where he's describing everything for like 10 pages before he tells you what happens, then this might not be for you. My final thoughts on it, I think that this book probably won't have an easy time getting published nowadays because of the climate. So I'm thankful that it got published back in the day in 1977 when things were very different and this story is out there uh, for us to read, for us to enjoy. What's next for part 10? Part 10 of Becoming Well Read will be another one of Stephen King's uh, early titles. Also published in 1977, The Shining by Stephen King. I read this weeks ago like i said i'm i need to get uh caught up let's say and so yeah this will be the next one and hopefully i can get the video made in a week or two but if you read rage if you liked rage if you want to talk about school shootings or guns or anger and its management or about you know kids that are just psychotic or the psychology of kids or anything related to rage please leave a comment down below like this video if you like books, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Ciao.